everybody, it's Debbie. Welcome to your home, your happy place. If you're new, I hope you decide to stay. We're gonna decorate today. We're gonna bring some fall into this family room area, which is our lower level. And I did just realize I, I have nothing for my mantle. I wasn't even thinking about it. So on the home tour, maybe there'll be something there. I am running out of items. The house, here is the largest house we've ever had, and I didn't use to decorate every single room. I just didn't, um, but I love doing it for you guys. So when I do that, <laughs> I need more stuff. And so I add a little every year, and we're at the end of it, and we're at the end of the budget too, so no more new stuff. Um, I mean, there's a few little odds and ends in here you'll see new, but really not much. Okay. So uh, first, thank you guys for just everything. I mean, I missed you while we were camping. There was absolutely no internet. And so I couldn't even answer um, comments or anything. So I have not been on my social media except to write that post and tell you I wasn't posting on Monday. And then I literally just took off um, Monday and Tuesday. Well, Monday was a day we came home and we were soaking wet and just it was a it was a miserable like from four in the morning till we got home and I slept all day because I hadn't slept most of the night. I'm a slight sleeper and so anything wakes me up. If a child stands up in the night, if if an armadillo goes by the tent, I hear it. So that coupled with probably uh, well for sure three maybe four days of, of either migraines or cluster headaches I don't know I was just worn out so I appreciate your patience and I'm gonna definitely bring you two videos this week but still I'm hoping to bring you a third I know it'll be three in a row so let's do this family room and I'm gonna talk about my foundation for reference point this is where we were uh, last week and this is the uh, lower level so you can see the patio outside and oh my goodness and those cannas can you see those cannas you guys I hate to just waste time but you just have to see them I can't see them through my camera but I think you guys can I can see them through the window wow um, pool still open uh, I think it gets closed pretty soon and here we are so I have two uh, leather Chesterfields here. They are full-size sofas and um, a coffee table that's also, as you can see, really large. Um, this rug, though it may have come from Amazon, I believe it's one that you can buy at Target as well. Uh, I love this rug. And then these little chairs are from Pier 1 back in the day. And I just brought them down once for, I don't know, I because I, I moved stuff like I do. And I've never taken them out because I really like them here. I think that that pretty color goes nicely with our gray um, stone. And, you know, I had an idea. This is I, I didn't want these here. I did not. Um, in fact, at the time, I hated these sofas. They uh, came off as kind of orange to me, and we just reluctantly put them down here, and I, I loved them. So, but if they ever wear out, I don't know if they will. This is the kind of leather that you can beat up, scratch, and everything, and it just makes it look better. So they may be here forever. Why have I got it in this configuration? If I put this sofa over here like I have upstairs, well, we have a door here and it's a laundry room. It's the back of the fish tank. You know, my husband goes back there to feed the fish, to clean the tank and everything. So, and it's all of our utilities. It We've done it before at Christmas, but it's very tight. So this is the only configuration that I can do. And why would I need all the seating? Because of our large we do have a large family. I mean, just three kids, but then you had spouses and grandkids. And this is where we do Christmas. This is the room that we unwrap presents. So um, that's how it's set up. And then I have this, um, gosh, I love this. It's, it just looks like a hunk of luggage. It's the same inspiration I had uh, for the shelves. And it's this pillow. 
And, you know, so sometimes it may be a rug. You could have an art piece. Sometimes it's a picture. I, I often, like, I rarely find a picture of something that inspires me. I am, because I don't, as a decorator, I've got stuff in my head. I'm not looking necessarily for things. I see items and they inspire me. So I just loved the muted colors in here. And they've got all the colors of fall plus the unexpected blue. So I just really wanted to play up the warmth down here. Let's get into the details. I'm going to start with throws. I, I, gosh, I'm thinking these were from Kirkland's. They're so, so soft. And as you can see, it's got a green and a brown and a cream in it. And I bought them not knowing where they'd go. And then I don't always put throws on these two pillows or two chairs, but I brought it down here and I thought, yes, that looks perfect. And they're so lightweight, so they're perfect size for that chair. Yeah, this would work so well in a bedroom too. It's just such a beautiful, soft, color and it doesn't overwhelm the chair. Do you guys ever wonder why I have so many throws? I do cuddle. Uh, I really do. Um, I, anyway, I do. I love, I love to cuddle and when you watch a movie or something, it's just nice to toss something over. I've had these pillows uh, for a couple years at least. So Again, there's the dark green, and I did. Uh, I just saw this and found these pillows when I was cleaning out my storage and thought this would be perfect in here. Just the perfect touch. I really like that. They are a soft, velvety pillow. I do not know where I got them. Have you ever been in TJ Maxx and like they've got I guess they're getting ready to put stuff out. There's all these boxes in the centered area and they were open and I had walked through, I don't even know what I was looking for as far as uh, if I was even looking for throws. I have so many. I had gold ones on here and I saw these and I'm like, I don't even know again where I'm going to use them, but they were too pretty to pass up. Look at that. I mean, they just look like, well, I'd like, I'd like that sweater. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so do they have all, they have every color just except for the blue that's in that pillow. And, um, it's, uh, Nicole Miller. Um, I would imagine. So this one was a little more expensive for TJ Maxx. It's $30, but I'm telling you, it's a really, really high quality. I think if you saw this at a boutique, it, it was going to be a hundred bucks. That's kind of the first layer of decor in here. Um, we're going to do the details here on the coffee table, which will bring some more fall elements. Right now, this is like, I, to me, this is like the comfort elements, but they are providing color in a very bland, neutral room. I think this may be new this year. Well, I'm sure it is new this year. It may be relatively new. Um, 
I think I picked it up at Home Goods maybe when I was in St. Louis uh, about a month ago over my birthday. And I just love a large tray. So this could work in your kitchen. Uh, but what, what I love about them mostly is that you could do vignettes with them. But I was about to say, you know, you could use this as like your coffee bar setup or maybe you're a baker, you know, and you could put some of your canisters and things. It's just a nice way not to mention to kind of give places a grounding, but also to just pick it up and move it. So, and this is a sturdy one. So I am just doing it to, because I had nothing here before as far as a tray. I'm going back in with this book. I love the John James Audubon Birds of America. I, I'm, I will call myself a collector now. Uh, I am buying a lot of the art. I just love it. And um, I just, I don't know, the colors are so rich and muted. And I just really love it this time of year. <laughs> this doesn't sound like me. I'm listening to myself. The, the girl who loves bright Lily Pulitzer is getting into this moody, but I, you know, I just go with it. Uh, I know that I cannot link anything like this below. I believe now that I think about it that I got this at Kirkland. Oops, Kirkland's. Um, so it's got a wood base. So maybe they still have stuff like this. I've had it for quite a while. I love it. Um, I'm not, it didn't come with this. Um, so I found a way like to unscrew this. There's actually a metal piece in the bottom that comes out and then the globe comes off. It did not come with the candle, which is an LED. So I just wanted uh, a little bit of a ring around it. And it really fills up the basket beautifully. And I'm just gonna add these. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I got these on Amazon. I think I got them at TJ Maxx or Home Goods a couple years ago. They were just like, I've got them in pumpkins and different color leaves. So they're beaded, but I do find things similar. So I will link some on Amazon and they are great because they have a very nice soft felt and they really do protect your wood for drinks. That is all I'm doing on here. I want to keep it simple. So let's do a close up. Here we go. It's super simple, um, but it doesn't, I don't like to clutter. Uh, I want functional decor so mood lighting is always lovely a book to look at especially one that you love and then having the coasters it's really all i need um so let me look it's so funny as i said i didn't think about this mantle at all but i did think about the hearth so i'm going to show you what i'm going to do there next so I had two of these. They're velvet pumpkins surrounded by this. I didn't do this. It's actually sitting in a wreath and it's glued in there. Um, and I have no idea where I used it last year, but I've got two of them. And so I thought about putting them. It was one of the first things when I came down here and I put the green um throw on and I thought oh now I know where to use this because it's just the it goes so well with it so I thought I'd put it there and I had terracotta um pots and it was just it was a little low and the terracotta just didn't go it just didn't go with what's going on in here so I wanted to get um an urn and um I couldn't find any when I went out. So I found these on Amazon. It's literally, it's two pieces. It is plastic. I know it, I don't think it looks like it, except that you can tell how, how I'm holding it so light. <laughs> it says it's a 12 inch pot or Grecian urn made in the USA. And um, it was like, I think, it, I think it was two for eight dollars. I don't know. I could be wrong. It might have been eight dollars a piece, but you know. Uh, so I think I really I could have gotten a taller one, 
I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to get it too tall. So I like that it's dark. I do think if I do something like this next year, I might take it up about like maybe double the size. I don't want to get it too close to there though. So maybe, I don't know, another five or six inches up would make it nice. But let me go ahead and put the other one out and let you see what that looks like. You know what? I changed my mind. I think they're just the perfect size. So I really do like it. I do think that I may have a garland that's very similar in color to that, but it's really long. So I don't know about putting it up there. Plus I don't want to overdo. All right, a couple more details over here and then we're going to do a console. So you've seen this before. Uh, I staged our lake home to sell and I did a really good job. <laughs> I, my problem is just like when I used to be decorating for people, I love what I do and I want my stuff. Or, well, in their situation, I would buy what I was buying for them, which was a really, you know, it was a good reason to stop working. <laughs> but uh, we are considering uh, doing a midterm rental at that house. So I decided that means you you're renting furnished. And so I decided to take out some of the things that I really wanted to keep for myself. And this was one of them. And this still had the tags on it. It's from Home Goods, $30. What a great basket. I mean, I'm sure if you've got kids, it's a great basket to just have somewhere for a quick toss of toys. Um, you could put a, a really hefty blanket in it. I am going to do exactly what I did at the lake, which was these gigantic pillows. I have no idea what I was thinking when I bought them. <laughs> I think I bought them for my sofas, but they're huge. They are, oh golly, I forget the name now. You guys will tell me. It'll come to me when I'm editing, but whatever. Anyway, they're the big, the big pillows and it, they just didn't work out. So I ended up, I, and I bought four of them. So I ended up putting them in baskets and I actually have another basket similar, not the same for the other two. So I just wanted to show you, this was a way to pull a very specific color in your room around. So if you notice, I don't have any of that bright coral anywhere else in the room. And so I am going to put this over here and it's going to be one of the places, it's really the only place in the room on the floor that I can draw that color down. And I just want to make sure that if it's possible, whenever possible, that I can pop some of that other color in the room for it to look cohesive. So on my birthday, or not, my birthday week or weekend, I don't know, my husband took me to the um, little antique area in Ozark, and I saw this in the shop. Actually, they had different sizes. I don't remember which size this one was, but I loved it. I loved the look. Uh, it had the leather handles, and it's a beautiful basket, and I really didn't know what I was going to do, but I even a couple weeks ago, but I've had it sitting out because I just think it's stunning. And um, I was sitting here thinking what color I, I was just going to, I'm just going to put a throw in it because that's all I can think to do right now. Um, it would be a, a, a nice place to do an arrangement too, but I have enough of that stuff going on. So I just grabbed this one out of my storage area. I think I had a deep green too, but I do have a lot of green going on around the room and very little of the gold. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I may just kind of, well, let me use both hands. Okay, my goal was to make it look fluffy and full, so I didn't fold it up neatly in there. And I'm just going to, because I have this over here, I'm going to bring this piece over here. All right, here we are so far, and now we're going to bring our attention to the top of this console. 
I finally found the spot for these. <laughs> so you guys know, I think I've tried them. I, I tried them on the front porch. I tried them on the fireplace mantle. I tried them somewhere else. I can't really remember. Um, anyway, they work here. They really do. I love it. All right. We'll put both of those out. Now, I'm not doing this today, but I'm thinking about adding this ribbon, which will also bring a little bit more. I know it's orange, not coral, but they're so close. So I was thinking about weaving this in, but I have no idea what I might do. Plus, I just don't know. So at this point, I'm not doing it. Not for you, but it's an idea for you guys that, you know, just if you've got things that have wire and stuff, always grab your handy ribbon and see what you might be able to do. In the center, I'm putting in a metal pan. I have no idea where it's from. I have a feeling it was from Southern Living, which, oh, you guys, you know, I keep seeing it now in my magazines. Southern Living home is in Dillard's. And while you may not have a Dillard's, they are online. So um, if you enjoy some of that, it's not, it's in the price range of probably Pottery Barn, but they have really nice stuff. So uh, I love it. It's copper. Just set it in between. So I, I'm using this yet again. I mean, it's so fun to have this size wreath, you guys. It really is because you like I had these hanging on the back of my dining room chairs last year and this year you're just seeing them all over the place. I'm I'm just having so much fun with them. So it's going to be the filler all done up and I'm going to go with a wooden candlestick which you won't see a lot of. Oh. Oh, this one must need batteries. Okay, it's the same candle as the one I have over there. It's just a smaller version of it. It is the brand Luminara, and I can link that for you below. It comes in other colors, by the way. What I love about these are, see that? <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it, but it really, the way that moves, it really does look like a flickering flame. I'm looking at the one that I've got lit. All right. I'm gonna stop there with the top. The bottom, I probably need to run upstairs and see what I have. I do keep a lot of magazines. I, I, I went through so many this year and got rid of tons. You have no idea, but um, okay. So yes, I don't need all these coastal livings out right now. Let me pull all those. Summer, summer. Okay, so all but one. All right, well, I have some more Table Rock Lake, or this one says Table Rock Lake, but 417, it's the area code, but it's the magazine. And so what I love about these is they're local for us. So it, it, it just has things to do, events, concerts, the best new places to eat, our old wineries, just things like that. So I'm gonna find a few more of those. And then I have a tray that's got a little bit of the orange in it. So I'm going to put that down there. So I got to go hunt and see what I have no idea what I'm putting down there. This is the pathetic part. All right. I found some more magazines. Uh, this one, this one's old, but you know what? I'm not going to get rid of it. It's two years old, but it's a fall bucket list. So this has all the places to go, you know, for the fall things like we did um well here's a beautiful mom's farm and different things like that um this is a new one this year 52 perfect saturdays so you know if you're if you're somebody who has a free day it doesn't have to be saturday uh and then um this is another new one um where to eat now so i just love the fact that we live in a tourist area and i know st louis was a tourist area but i think it was so big 
that it just it wasn't the same feel as what we have here. And from the wineries to the lake, to the Branson entertainment areas, the parks and sport, water sports and dry land things. It's just so much to do and always new restaurants and activities. I mean, I can't even think of all of them. Like, I mean, Silver Dollar City encompasses a lot, but there's a lot of places around that you can go to. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to pop this down there. I found two big pumpkins to go in here. This one's a fuzzy green one. I love it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun and got some inspiration. I am going to be back tomorrow with another decorating video. I'm not sure where we're headed in the house, but I've got a lot of stuff going on and we've got a lot of rooms to still cover before we start Christmas. So I hope that you're excited. Be thinking about your Christmas though. I am going to be doing um, the same way I did fall. I'll do a Christmas marathon and then I'm going to have. Um, some Christmas planning, and then if I buy something new, which I really don't need, I'm pretty sure <laughs> um, I'll do a haul. I'm sure I'll buy something, but uh, anyway, I'm excited to bring all that, but I'm also looking forward to bringing you some more um, fall decor, even up to Thanksgiving. I might start kind of mixing things, because um, I've always wanted to do a Thanksgiving table for you, and I'm one. I'm hoping to get that done this year as well. So, you guys, I will link what I can below. Check out my storefront; it's also linked below. I add so much into the stores that are for the season. So, my fall stuff is got it's loaded. It's loaded with the things that you've seen me decorate with, and things I wish I had, or things that I just think, wow, that. That would be really nice. I don't have room for it, nor can I afford it or something like that. So um, check that out and I will see you tomorrow. You guys have the best day. Mwah!